Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Riza, and in this channel, I share videos about my life as a software engineer in Japan. Yesterday, we had a release day for two of our products, and I was in charge of one of them, and it was super stressful. I'm so glad that it's done, and now we're just waiting for the feedback from our users. And today, I guess it's going to be a bit chill compared to the last couple of days. First thing I need to do today is I need to do small bug fix, but I don't think it's gonna take a long time. I think I can finish it in, a, in an hour. And second, I need to do some tasks that are not coding related. It's related to the performance review. So yesterday, no, actually two days ago, I had a meeting with my director. We had an annual performance review. It went really well. So yeah, that's another thing I'm happy about. And maybe in this sprint, in this video, maybe in this video, I can talk a little bit about lesson learned from my first year as a server engineer. So yeah, that's roughly what I'm going to be doing today. And let's start the day. For my self-study, lately I've been using an interactive platform which is also a sponsor of this video, Brilliant.org. Brilliant is where you learn by doing, with lots of interactive lessons in maths, data analysis, programming, and AI. The one that I've been joining lately is called How LLMs Work. What I like about Brilliant is that the lessons are very interactive and it lets you play with concept, which is a method that is six times more effective than just watching lecture videos. Also, all of their courses are meticulously designed by researchers from MIT, Google, Microsoft, and more. If you want to use Brilliant for free for a full 30 days, and if you want to get a 20% discount on their annual premium subscription, you can use my link, brilliant.org slash reserve. Hey everyone, as I promised this morning, I want to share some lessons I learned during the first year of my career as a software engineer. The first lesson I learned is you have to know like your career level and then you have to know the expectations for that level. So many companies, they have different levels, they have different ways of defining the career levels. In my company, we have the system that starts from software engineering one, software engineer one, we call it L3 level and we have L4 level until L10. For each level, they have different expectations. For example, if you're L3, you'll be expected to do some technical tasks with a lot of guidance from a more senior engineer. And as you go up one level, you'll have less and less supervision. 
if you go up into senior engineer or maybe staff uh, software engineer level, you'll have a bigger influence in your company. So my point here is uh, during your first week of your software engineering career, you should set up a meeting with your manager. Just discuss what are the expectations for your current level. Because for me, for example, in my team, I'm the only L3 engineer. The other engineers, I believe, they're at least senior. So, you know, my managers might not know that I am still L3 and then he might have he might have set an expectation that is equal for everyone. But, you know, I don't want that to happen. That's the first lesson. The second lesson I learned is that when you are given a new project or a new task, always set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a person who is who's done that project before or with a senior engineer who is knowledgeable in that uh, task or project. For me, I tend to be, I used to be a person who is like, uh, if someone gave me a task, I would be, I would say, yeah, let me uh, deep dive into the code and into the documentation. Please just give me like one or two days and I'll work on it. But I think a better way to approach this uh, task is sure you have to read through the documentation, the documentation or the code first. But as soon as you have the time, or as soon as possible, you have to have a meeting with someone who knows this project well. He will guide you through like the overview or of of how to approach the task. He will give you resource resources, and then he'll give you some tips on you know how to deal with possible issues when you are doing the task. The third lesson I learned is always share your achievements with the team. What I meant by this is for example in a sprint maybe you have built a part of a feature. No matter how small you think it is, I think you still have to share it with the team either during the setup meetings or during the sprint review. That way everyone including your manager will know that you've done something in the sprint. Because you know everyone has their own tasks, everyone is thinking about their own world. So in in the end of the day, it's always nice for you to share what you've done with the team, and you know just to give them an idea of what you've learned and how you have contributed to the team. And oftentimes they can learn something new from you, even though you, even if you're like they're seniors and you're still a junior, it's still really nice to share what you've done and what you've learned from a task. So yeah, those are. Uh, four points that I learned during the first year of my software engineering career. There are other things I've learned, but I think I can talk about them in another video. Uh, this ticket is in review.